Imagine working very hard to plan a trip with all of the stress that comes with it, only for you to get to the airport and get extra delayed by being stopped or flagged by a TSA agent for some reason. Quite annoying, right? Well, there are some things you can do when traveling or planning for a trip that may cause them to flag you. And while some are obvious, others are not. But not to worry, we've selected a few of the most popular reasons that could get you flagged by a TSA agent in today's video. So stick around and watch to the end to find out and spare yourself some trouble in the future. Number 1. Looking Stressed If you are a traveler and you are quite stressed, it's definitely best to be as calm as possible while going through security. Because any suspicious behaviors that shows that you're tense, stressed, or nervous will be flagged immediately. As a traveler, if you appear calm and controlled and answer questions quite confidently, it gives security a better impression and makes their work easier. On a lighter note, there's really no cause to be anxious if you have nothing to hide and are nice and cooperative. Number 2. Having an outrageous sized liquid substance At one point or the other, you may have hurriedly or accidentally taken items such as a full-size shampoo bottle along with you to the airport for a trip. And there's nothing worse than having your shampoo bottle confiscated by security at the airport especially given the fact that you accidentally carried it in your carry-on. However, the reason for such restrictions at the airport by these securities is because tiny liquids are successfully scanned by the machine, whereas larger liquids are more difficult to read. So before going to the airport, be sure that all of the liquids in your carry-on are the proper size to prevent this from occurring to you. Number 3. Wearing Unwanted Items when passing through the security scanners, there are certain items that you should not wear, such as caps, watches, belts, and occasionally even shoes. If you don't remove any of these items, you will most likely be brought to the side and individually searched. Wearing a hat, most especially through customs, is a big no-no, since the personnel are trying to identify you, and hats are a technique to hide part of a person's traits. Number 4. Traveling with Coffee Bringing coffee with you when traveling is something you should always have a rethink on. Why? Because the strong fragrance of coffee can be used to hide the smell of certain illegal substances. And your bag is almost certainly going to be checked. So it's definitely a smart idea to avoid bringing coffee with you to save time at the airport. Number 5. Paying No Attention to Security not listening to security is probably the worst thing you can do, as they'll not tolerate any disrespect, nor will they hesitate in making your trip a lot more difficult. Not obeying simple instructions can aggravate them and cause your trip to be significantly delayed. Don't be one of those people that give them problems, as they have to deal with all manner of people all day. Number 6. If you change or get out of lines... When traveling or going through customs, if you're spotted going into another line, skipping the line, or getting out of line, you can get caught up in a lot of trouble and may be flagged or fined. Why? Because the act is deemed suspicious conduct by airport officials. Also, it does not make sense for someone to want to be in a different queue unless they're trying to hide or avoid something. Number 7. Carrying a lot of cash as you're surely aware, there are certain rules that are in place while traveling, and this includes having a limit on the amount of money that can be transported from one nation to another. There have been numerous reports of individuals attempting to cross the border with significant sums of money in order to conduct an unlawful transaction that cannot be traced. As a result, if you bring a large sum of cash on hand, you may be questioned. It's therefore preferable to avoid it. Number 8. Having no proof of medication If you're bringing medication from one country and do not have confirmation from a doctor that it is prescribed to you, it may be confiscated when you're going through security. 
Security wants to make sure that the medication you're carrying is for you, that it was lawfully obtained, and that it's not being used for any other illegal reasons. So, it's a good idea to always have proof, especially if you can't receive the prescription in a foreign nation. Number 9. Carrying an Electronic Toothbrush Carrying an electric toothbrush might cause problems for you when going through security. This is because there have been reports of some brands of lithium batteries exploding in the air. This isn't true for every brand, but it's usually best to leave it at home or in your checked bag to avoid the trouble that comes with it. Number 10. Having an Uncharged Laptop At the airport, security may need to perform screening on electronic devices to guarantee they haven't been modified or tampered with in order to cause harm. If you're unable to effectively power up your laptop at the request of a security official, the laptop may be confiscated from you or you may be denied entrance into the nation. While this isn't a common situation, it's still a good idea to have your computer charged and ready to go. Number 11. Joking about inappropriate topics or bombs. Making any kind of joke about sensitive matters in an airport is not something you want to do, for securities do not and will not take them lightly. As someone who enters that airport, if you do something like that, they will not hesitate to question you or refuse you boarding. Number 12. Traveling with too much food. Bringing a large amount of food past security for your flight may result in its confiscation, depending on what it is. Most packaged foods are acceptable. However, fresh food prepared at home to the airport may be prohibited or result in a substantial customs punishment. So in case you're considering moving around with food on your trip, go with packaged food rather than with fresh food. Number 13. Not emptying your water bottle. While waiting in line for security, there are usually a million and one signs urging you to either drink your water or dump it at the dumping stations. Failure to do so will result in the search of your stuff. This is because they can be used to conceal banned items or used as a weapon. It's also prohibited in order to prevent littering and waste at the airport. To avoid this, Always travel with a reusable water bottle that can be refilled throughout the airport. Number 14. Having a beard. As unthinkable as this one is, it is undoubtedly true. Why? Because persons with facial hair can readily conceal facial traits or hide their identity and are more likely to be questioned. Customs must guarantee that you are who you claim to be you are. So... If you have facial hair, it shouldn't be too much, or best, shave it. Number 15. Not checking your children's bags. Traveling with children may be stressful, and you don't want to have to deal with goods being detected in their bags as unwanted. If you are a traveling parent, it's always best to inspect your child's bags if they're the ones packing them. Items such as toy weapons as harmless as they can be, may be confiscated. Packing the bags yourself or supervising your child or children will save you time and stress. Number 16. Buying your tickets last minute. Purchasing a ticket at the last minute is sometimes unavoidable. However, a one-way ticket to a trip may raise suspicions, especially if purchased at the last minute. It's even worse when you buy it at the counter. Finally, number 17, not having proof of travel insurance. While traveling through border control, you may be requested for proof of travel insurance. In rare situations, a country will refuse entry unless you have insurance, and they may want documentation to verify it. Even if you have insurance but no documentation, Border control may still refuse your entry. Every nation has different restrictions, so having the passport on hand is a smart idea to avoid being held at the border. You may have experienced any of these restrictions without knowing on time that they could get you restricted at the airport. However, now you do, 
and you have at your fingertips other information that can help you avoid other similar experiences. So, make good use of them and save yourself the extra time and trouble. We believe you found this video helpful. Do give us a thumbs up by liking this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these kinds of videos. Also, turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thanks for watching.